This is Elias, and we are going to study the interpretation of a Hess chart. So Hess chart is basically used for testing of muscle sequelae. It's a binocular test, and we are dissociating the two eyes and then plotting a chart showing extraocular muscle movements. Now this is used for any muscles equally, which could be either muscle paralysis or restriction. And because of acute onset paralysis or restriction, you can have diplopia. This is done to either diagnose one of these problems or to follow up its progression or improvement. Now, keep in mind that all of these tests are, they cannot be looked in isolation and you always have to collaborate this with the clinical picture. So the way to interpret the HES chart is you focusing on a few things. The first thing that you focus on is the size of the plotted chart. Now, whichever I will show a smaller sized square, that is the I, which is the diseased or affected I. The second thing to see is the amount of displacement of this plotted square. So the amount of displacement in the affected eye is the magnitude of primary deviation, while the amount of displacement in the non-affected eye is the magnitude of secondary deviation. The third thing to see is the shape of the plotted square. Now, it could either be compressed meaning thereby it is not following the Herring or Sherrington law, or it could be following the two laws and thus showing overaction of the muscles which are antagonist to the muscle which is underacting. Now if this is the case, this will show paralytic lesion which you are dealing with. But if you have a compressed, this will tell you that there is some mechanical problem of the extraocular muscle. So this is what a blank hair chart recording sheet looks like with the left eye and the right eye clearly marked at the top. It has an inner square and a, an outer square. If the person has no motility defect, the chart will follow the outline of both the inner and the outer square. Uh, you have to remember that there is a center of the squares, and if there is an, um, uh, any extraocular muscle imbalance, it will appear as a deviation from the standard outline. So it could pre present like this with a center at a different point. So if you want to measure what the 
deviation is one of these squares is equal to five degrees so one two three that means there is 15 degrees of inward deviation of the eye so the direction of the displacement gives us the type of deviation so in this case because it is shifted inwards or nasally that means this patient has a left esotropia of 15 degrees. Now that we have looked at the basic principles of interpreting a HES chart, we are going to look at different muscles equally and muscle paralysis and see how to interpret those in the next video. Thank you.